Sorry for uh, the delay in the, my uploads for the videos. It's been quite a busy summer. I'm in the process of uh, building a garage, getting my lumber all cut up. And we uh, took an unexpected trip a couple of weeks up to Ontario to visit our granddaughter for her first birthday. Well, we got a call this morning, and right now we are on our way to Corner Brook because granddaughter number two is on the way, grandchild number three. But granddaughter number two should be here uh, maybe even by the time we get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a little video of me out salmon fishing on the last day that Harry's River was open. I was there five minutes and this happened. I just got my GoPro out and clipped onto my hat and now I have to put the case away. Got a salmon on. Today we have more salmon in our rivers than we did in the 70s and 80s and they have the seasons closed. I don't understand the logic behind that. Nice fish. I'm still trying to get my pocket zipped so I don't lose my case. Five minutes. Recent studies have shown that once you play out a large salmon, most of them will not spawn, and those that do don't spawn at their full capacity. Nice fish. Look at them go. So it makes absolutely no sense to release a large salmon. My intentions were to go to all the different salmon rivers and show how few salmon fishermen there are on the rivers and how little wardens there are to protect the rivers once they open it to catch and release only. The poachers Jiggers, netters, they have the rivers to themselves. This has never been an effective way to protect the salmon resource here on the island of Newfoundland. He's right here somewhere there now. Oh, nice fish. This is my own pattern, this little fly. <laughs> in fact, back in 2002 when they opened it up for retention fishing again here in Newfoundland, the very first week the fisheries department received over 65 names of known poachers, guys that were going out and netting the rivers. If you give the people a reason to protect the species, then that species has a much greater chance of surviving than they do if people lose a vested interest in protecting them. Lots of fish in the rivers, never made it down uh, down through the run once. The water temperatures were cool, so I didn't mind catching and releasing this fish for the purpose of making this video. However, once the water temperature goes above 18 degrees, the mortality rate on the salmon is greatly reduced. And once it's above 22 degrees, the salmon has a 90% mortality rate once released. 90% once released when the water temperatures are above 22 degrees. We can't call ourselves sport fishermen if we're killing 90% of the fish that we catch. That's what I want. I want to get the fish up above me here if I can. And not only that, we are killing them and wasting them. There we go. Come on, buddy. Tire out. Which is a far greater crime, in my opinion, than retaining a salmon caught on a fly. A barbless fly at that. Where is he to? There he is. Oh, he's getting tired. See if I can't get him up here now. 
I see him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Turn over. There you go. Come on. There he is. He's right next to me. Oh, that's a big fish, boy. I personally have a dilemma in trying to figure out what's best for the salmon when playing it. Do you try and force it to shore, hoping that you have them hooked in the top solid part of the mouth or in the bottom part? Or do you play them gently in case you have them hooked in the side and you, you rip out the side of the mouth? And that, that's, to me, is more harmful than good. So, from here on out, I am going to err on the side of caution. I am going to play the fish out like I would if I was going to try and land them. And I'm going to take the extra time needed to revive them. Look at that beautiful salmon. I could drag that right to the beach now if it was... I could tag it. And hopefully, in the cooler temperatures, he will survive. He only has a 90% chance of surviving with the temperatures that I'm currently fishing in. But like I said, over 22 degrees, 90% mortality. Oh. Failed attempt. See if I can't do that again. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll give you some updates as to my projects in the very near future. And in less than one month, I'll be gone off in the woods, guiding again this fall. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel for the fall hunts.